On this episode of Cooking with Vincent Price, I am making the banana nut bread from the hotel Hanamaui in Hawaii, but I am making it with several modifications. The Hanamaui Hotel is still a hotel in operation today. It is now part of the Hyatt family of hotels and resorts. The recipe Vincent got from the hotel that is in his book is a very straightforward, standard banana bread recipe with not a lot of bells and whistles. But, as I mentioned, I did make several modifications. The first modification that I make is that I make this with an all-purpose gluten-free flour because I have the bad guts. Today, I'm using Trader Joe's all-purpose gluten-free flour with very pleasant results. This is the first time I've used this flour, and it, it was great. So, step one is to combine all of the dry ingredients, flour, salt, baking soda, and you will stir to incorporate. The recipe calls for one cup of mashed banana, which is probably three medium bananas. I mashed three large bananas and it was way too much. I did not use all three bananas. The second modification that I make is deviating from the recipe. The recipe is for a banana nut bread using half a cup of chopped walnuts. I am not fond of nuts in baked goods, so I decided to use half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. The third modification that I make is that I make muffins and not a bread loaf. I find that muffins cook quicker, meaning you get to eat banana bread faster, so honestly, that's a win to me. The recipe calls for combining one cup of sugar with one stick of butter. You're going to cream the two ingredients together in a mixture until light and fluffy. My butter was still rather cold and not quite to room temperature when I combined with the sugar, but the end result was still deliciously fine. At this point, you're going to cream the ingredients, add two eggs to the butter mixture, and then your dry ingredients go in stir to combine. Once the flour has been incorporated, this is when the recipe tells you to add in the mashed bananas and the chopped nuts, or in my situation, the chocolate chips. I awesomely deleted the footage of incorporating the mashed banana into the mixture, so just know that banana happened after the flour. I'm going to take a cookie scoop, and I divided out the batter into the muffin tin. The recipe did make more than a dozen. I had a second muffin tin, and the remaining batter made an additional four muffins, so I had 16 muffins total. The muffins cook at 350 degrees until they are done. If you were making a banana bread loaf in a standard bread tin, this cooking time would be about an hour. The muffins take, in my experience, right at about 35 minutes, and I just baked until a toothpick came out of the center of the muffin clean. And here you go. These muffins are delicious, they're moist and flavorful, and they are a keeper.